I'm going out. Uh, it will take a while. And I'm going to leave a bit of thread hanging here. Now you can also clip that if you want. I don't normally, but okay, for the sake of the uh, tutorial, I will do it. Um, okay, here it is. So I'm going under. With my very long thread. Going back out. Can you see this? This pine and come back up through this hole. Let's make some room for my super long thread, uh, which I uh, waxed, of course. It's, it's a cotton thread, and I, I waxed it. And by waxing it, I uh, I find it uh, doesn't knot as much as it used to as it does when you don't wax it. Now I will stay on every time I go through this I find it's easiest and best to stay underneath the thread you uh, used last. So go back, stay underneath this one, come back up, weave over your spine Then take this one, you can uh, take this off now, and tie a knot. Not too fast, uh, not, too, uh, not too tight, I mean, because uh, you don't want to pull your covers together. Uh, I'll, I'll turn it a bit, make it easier for me. Now I have a knot. I can do another one if I want. Though I don't think it is really necessary. Okay. Now I can forget about the tail and move on. Because we're going to have to go um, back under. I know we have to go through there, I think. Because that will, that's where we were going. nice then go back here hi I'm back uh, my husband just came in so uh, we'll try this again I'll just uh, finish this one Ooh, and my glasses whereas I can't see what I'm doing now we have to go to the next line uh, the next hole and um, Normally that would be here, but I moved it over here, because I like that. And we'll start the weaving again. So we'll go out, under the spine, difficult such a long thread oh well uh, back under up through the hole if I can find it uh, let's get rid of these things spine again, stay under this thread up through the 
home. basic weaving actually and out through this hole now we're on this side we'll go over here repeat. Maybe I'll uh, speed this uh, part up later on, but we'll see how long the video is going to be. <laughs> on the up through this hole. Now uh, this is all new to me as well. Not the weaving, but the holes like this. Remember to stay on this side of the thread each time you weave through. show you why because when you turn it over you get this when you stay on the underside of the thread you see you get a nice loop around this one now we're going into this hole And repeat until the end. Uh oh. Untangle the thread. Yeah, I think I'll speed this up and come back to you later. Now my thread is clearly not long enough, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll uh, I have to, uh, I guess I'll stop the video, uh, get some new thread, wax it with my uh, little nifty uh, waxing thing, and then uh, I'll come back. See you in a minute. Hi, I'm back. And uh, as you can see, I uh, threaded uh, the last bit of the thread uh, over here, went uh, uh, over the spine, under, came out here, and then I had to stop. And I made, um, I tied my next thread onto here. So I'm quite sure I'll have enough. So you see, it's not really a problem. Um, Maybe it would have been nicer if I knotted it uh, right in the middle of the spine. But uh, actually I kind of like it that it's over here. It's a, for me it's a reminder uh, that I have to measure enough thread for this one. But this is my first time trying it like this. So uh, I have to see. Just finish this one now. Oh, 
this one. come up on the bottom of this one. Out over here. Come up. This out of the way. to make a knot. And three as we did on top. That's the covers. I can cut this now. I can make it shorter later, but for now I'll leave it like this. Uh, yeah, you can take these off. like well with just the covers these are the covers and for now it looks fairly loose which it should be because we're going to have to tie in the signatures in a minute I think it looks nice maybe I should take this away can you see better now I think it looks cute. And this is the inside. And the inside is well quite different. So this is a cover. <laughs> 